All right, hello everybody on YouTube. I just wanna make a quick video to go over uh, some of the things I learned with a Tiki brand smokeless fire pit. Um, so this is it right here. It's got a nice cover on it. Um, pull that off real quick. I'll just talk about it. I've had it for a couple of weeks now. A um, couple things I wanna talk about. They do sell these packs that you basically set right on here and you light all four corners and they are supposed to burn for about a half an hour. Um, you get one when you get the fire pit, works great. Um, it does last a bit longer than a half hour. It's probably more like hour, hour and a half. Um, but I wanted to see what I could do so that I didn't have to use those uh, fire packs and do my own thing. Um, so what I did was I ended up picking up some of the uh, wood pellets they're about five bucks a bag at a local tractor supply store and uh, 40 pound bags. So for 20 bucks, I got four of these things. So I'll show you uh, my little kit, what I use to uh, keep my fires going. Um, some of it is with the wood pellets and some of it is with the uh, actual firewood. So I will uh, show you the supplies that I use in just a moment. Okay, for the next part, I just wanna show you all the different uh, things that I use to get my fire pit going, um, the way I do my burns and all that stuff, how I get it started. So this is a bag, um, it's a 40 pound bag, a premium hardwood fuel pellets, um, the wood pellets from Tractor Supply. Again, these are five bucks. Um, this one, I've used it, I don't know, maybe four times now, four fires, and this is about how much I got left in the bag. So they, they last pretty well. Most of my fire has been a couple hours, three hours maybe. Um, but I have done some wood as well. So real quick, I'll just show you. I keep a little plastic thing in here that I use for the initial um, stocking, I guess, if you want to call it, of the fire pit. Um, one thing you want to know, you want to make sure these are stored in a dry place. I keep them inside here in my sunroom. Um, what else? Uh, so these things, if they do get stored outside, which you shouldn't do unless you're in an airtight thing, um, you might want to check them from time to time. If you try to snap them and they break into like two pieces like that, they're still good. If they turn to dust or powder, then the moisture made them bad and they're not going to work for you. So we'll get to loading that up in the fire pit later. Um, the other thing I use, I use these strike a fire, um, fire starters. I know some people use cotton balls and Vaseline and you can do all kinds of stuff to make your own homemade ones. But I like these. Basically you get 48 of these in a box. I break this into four pieces and I'll show you how I place them in the fire pit later. So I'll put that back. Uh, the other thing is this Amazon torch. Um, I bought it pretty cheap from there. It's butane. Uh, you gotta buy your own butane, but it works pretty good. Um, it's got the long length on it so that I don't have to, you know, bend down with the lighter and burn my fingers and that. So that's real handy. Um, the other thing that's really handy if you're doing wood pellets in your uh, fire pit is this long metal spoon, believe it or not. Um, so that's one of the negatives and drawbacks of using um, wood pellets for a fire pit is you have to keep feeding them the pellets and you have to balance it and do it in a way so that you don't add too many or do it at the wrong time and then cause a whole bunch of smoke. Um, these, these fire pits are, you know, smokeless, right? So you want to limit that smoke. And I think I've got it down to a science. Um, and then this guy right here, just your standard wood stoker. Um, what I like to do, I find that I like to get the fire going with the wood pellets. Uh, and then feed it for a while. You know, I get tired of feeding it because like I said, it's, it's kind of high maintenance to do. Um, I'll throw a log on there. Uh, you know, I got a little bit of seasoned wood out there and I just drop one of those on the pit. So those are my components. And uh, next time I come back to the video, I will get the fire pit um, stocked up and ready to go to light a fire tonight. All right, so it's fire time. I went ahead and I loaded up the uh, Tiki brand smokeless fire pit with I don't know I'd say about an inch of the wood pellets there and then what I did was I stuck in I, I broke up those fire starters into four pieces you can see I kind of just stuck them partially on top I did it mo usually I do it on top but I like to bury it just a little bit I'm gonna try that this time and basically you just go around get each of these fire starters lit and then just let it go and within about 10 minutes the um, 
wood pellets are going to catch on fire and they're going to join each other you're going to have a nice fire pit going nice fire nice flames and then from there all you got to do is feed it keep it going so we'll go ahead and let those things burn and uh, when it starts to progress i will get back and film a little bit more and show you now right, here we are we're at about five minutes later from when i first lit it so it's taking its time but it's a good way to start it i like it it's kind of uh, almost looks like a little gas uh, fire pit you know it's kind of nice ambiance um so i'm patient and i kind of like waiting for it but don't worry, eventually all four of those are going to get those pellets lit up and they're going to join and you'll have a nice ring of fire. So I'll come back when it's all going. Um, let me see if I can show. You can see there's not much smoke, if any. Remember, these are smoke less, not smoke free 100%. So you can get a little smoke here and there. But uh, it's great. Huh? All right, so we're at uh, about 15 minutes right now. Uh, so it's taken a little longer than I estimated. I never timed it before. This is the first time. But you can see they're starting to spread. And um, they'll get there. A few more minutes and that whole thing will be connected. And uh, you'll be good to go. All right. So we are at about 25 minutes in. And the fire is roaring. Uh, if you are anywhere near it, you're going to start backing up. Because you're going to start feeling that heat. And uh, believe it or not, this is about the time when you want to start adding your pellets in. Um, you can see the flame is shooting up, you know, over the, the ridge, the, the tip of it. So when I start to see that kind of simmer down a little bit and get to about, we'll oh, say about that height, that's when I start sprinkling some pellets on. And literally all I do with my wooden spoon, go into the bag, get some pellets on there, and just sprinkle them on it doesn't seem like a lot but you do that a couple of times and guess what you're going to keep feeding that fire you're not going to get any of that smoke if you put too much on there you're going to put that fire out uh, and it's going to smother it and you're going to start smoking really 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 bad so now if i want to and what i do like to do if i'm going to keep the fire going all night if i don't feel like feeding it every five minutes with a couple sprinkles of the pellets I grab a, just a piece of wooden log uh, and, and just throw it on there. You don't need to remove the, the metal piece that's in there. Um, you know, that kind of helps prop the fire or the log up there and burn well. So, yeah, it's good stuff. A lot of fun. So, I hope this helps somebody. Um, works for me. Like I said, the tedious part is digging into that bag, getting a spoonful and just throwing them on there but that's going to keep this thing going so if you're drinking beers having a good time you don't even think about it and uh it's a lot of fun